What is happening YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Welcome to another vlog out during Whips. We are back with another vlog. As you guys already know that I was gonna take a cruise with my friends. Uh, the last video I said. And yeah, this is not the video that we're gonna do that. Cause my cousin's car, the Ash, the 340 that we have on the channel. Uh, it actually got in a wreck. Somebody hit his car and my another dude that was gonna join us with the white BMW, that 340. And his car actually got hit too. So. We're not gonna be doing the cruise anymore. I mean, actually we did do the cruise, but like I don't really record it. But yeah, so now to this video that we're gonna be doing a brake bleed on my car. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a brake bleed and next video, I'm gonna be changing, changing my spark plugs and I'm gonna uh, walk you guys through. Okay, so what we need is, we need four stands to pick up the car and uh, he's almost opening up the lug nuts and picking up the car already. Okay, so we need a power bleeder and uh, actually it's gonna take two bottles of the brake fluid but yeah I got four of them and yeah so two uh, four stands to pick up the car two bottles and a brake bleeder that's basically all you need to do your brake bleed and uh, let's go Nuts, but it wouldn't open because it was like really tight from the person that I tightened up last time. Let's tie tie with you. Okay, so yeah, the, the lug nuts were really tight and so we couldn't open it. So now we're gonna go to a shop and get it opened up with the, uh, the drill thingy and we're gonna come back and then break bleed. Let's go. All right, so uh, we went to the shop to get it, uh, get the lug nut open. Eventually, they can't open it up because like it's stripped already. So so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna just go home. Uh, first we're gonna go grab the food, eat some to eat. We're starving, it's already like 3.30 in the afternoon. So we're gonna go grab some food, then we're gonna go home and uh, we're just gonna do the spark plugs. So we're not gonna do the brake bleeding anymore today because it's like literally too hot. It's like 100 and what, 107 temperature outside. Because uh, we live in California and it gets like pretty fucking hot, right? So yeah, yeah, I'll give you guys updates when I get home. All right guys, so we made it back home safely and now we have started working on the car already. So first thing you guys need to do is, in order to do the spark plugs, not the brake bleed no more since we can open up the lug nut. But yeah, first thing you need to do is uh, take out this cover right here. The cover, this one right here. It's just like three clips, it'll come off. It'll come right off and just take that off. Then you're gonna have to take this uh, rubber that's up here. It looks something like this. Take that off. There's just like one clip and you just peel it off and take off the, the cover that's on the engine. It's right there. If you can see it. That cover right there. You just pull it out. It's just like three clips. You take that off and then these are your spark plugs right here. One, two, three, four. Since I have a four banger, you should have more if you got a V6 or something. But I got a I4 uh, and line four. So that's one, two, and the third one is right here and the fourth one. So if you take this off right here, that'll make it easier for you to reach the fourth one. But if you don't, you can still reach it, but it'll be a bitch, you know what I mean? So yeah, might as well. It's not that big of a deal, just take out just like a few clips. Okay, so you do need to take this, uh, what is the bar, right? Yeah, the yeah, you need to take this bar thinking off too. And there's just two bolts, one and the second one's right, right there. And then you need to take this off too, if you wanna make it easier for you to reach that the fourth uh, spark plug. So it should look something like this when you open up the bar right there and the cover on top of it. And it's just like three screws on each of it and it'll come up, it'll come right off. And uh, then you see this right here, that's the spark plug, you pull this up, it'll pull up like that. And you just pull it like this, it'll come right out. And that is your ignition coil. All right, so once your ignition coils are out, you can literally see that spark plug is right there. All right, then you just need a socket to open it up. And yeah, you just open it right, like any other regular nut. It'll come right out. It's like a special BMW socket that you need. Uh, we bought it from BMW, I'm not sure what size it is. You could just go to BMW, they'll give it to you. So actually the socket that you get from BMW has a magnet in it. So you don't gotta worry about dropping the spark plug inside it so it won't drop because of the magnet. There he is. 
Cool. Well, spark plug is up. Hot. Hot. Huh? Fucking hot. Yeah, because it's like 107 degrees. Hey, Cali weather. It's too hot. It's like 107 degrees, and we're, we decided to do the uh, spark plugs. We. And we. We. We decided no, no. to do the spark plugs. I know actually he's 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 the one who's doing every part but yeah I only opened those three uh, nuts right there and I didn't do shit. Yep. Follow him on Instagram you guys he has a beamer too. <laughs> well, you guys this is the spark plugs that I bought they were like 50 bucks on actually like 70 bucks on uh, Amazon and uh, what I did was uh, put this order number or the the part number you could just put that in. Uh, if I zoom it in. Okay there it is. So yeah, I'll put the, or you can actually, you go to, Amazon, go to Amazon and put this order number in and then you'll be able to find these. These are actually better for your BMW, they're almost almost same as the, the ones that you get from BMW, but they're better because like my car is actually tuned, so since the car is tuned, it's better to get the ones that are like a little stronger than the normal ones, but yeah, I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to go and buy the same ones. Alright, so I've never done this spark plug, and if you're just uh, deciding to do it yourself, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do it because, like, you know, don't be feeling scared because I've never done it, so I'll show you how to do it. The first thing you gotta do is uh, you gotta uh, remove this up. You should use a tool like this one, or you could use a screwdriver, it's up to you. And you get this out, and there goes your sensor. And you just lift it up. Just put your finger in here. Yeah, it's better if you put your finger in it. Or it's tight, you just gotta pull. Yeah. Pull it hard. There it is. Comes right out. And you wanna put this on the side so it won't get any dirt on it or anything bad. And just go put it on the side real quick. Then grab your uh, new spark plug. And to balance your new spark plug, you actually need a tool, the balancer, this is a balancer, and you get another one, so you, you're gonna need these two tools, you could go to any Arizona and you could buy it for like what, $20, and then you just get your spark plug and you put it on there, tighten it up, see that, you could just tighten up your spark plug on there, real quick. And then you need to gap your tools like this and you gotta put this in right here. See, it's loose, it is, uh, can't be loose like that. So you need to put it in and like make it tighter up. And just pull it like that. Don't do it too hard because then you're gonna mess up your spark plug. You don't wanna do that. Yeah, see, it's tight now and you're good. Then you just get your spark plug out. Lose this maybe. Get your spark plug out and then you just put it in the car. Do it, then get your socket and uh, put the spark plug in it, like this. And it'll hold it, like I told you it had a magnet in it. It has a magnet in it. Then you just go to your uh, engine bay and then just tighten it up. Take up the old sparkle for sure. For that, you can just get it and then just untighten it. There it is, it's under. And you just get your wrench. Okay. Socket. Okay. Socket. Socket. Yeah. This is supposed to be this around. Yeah, here you go. And you just. And you open it up. It looks like it's loose. There it is. Yes, take out your socket first. Don't be an idiot like me. Make sure you take it out first. Then you put the old one in. Just in like that. Then you just put it into the hole. And you start spinning. And this is how you change your uh, spark. 
spark plugs. I was gonna do the other two without the camera because it's like super hard to do without the cam with the camera. And I was like super nervous because like you know I don't wanna fuck up my car because it's like super expensive if you uh, miss fire or like do anything wrong with an engine. Like then you gotta go to B and that you can't go in the world. So yeah, and let me do that. I'll be able to get it right back. with the car now moment of truth let's start up the car and see if I need a new engine or not <laughs> let's go all right so far no signs yep it's running good Okay, not so bad. Alright guys, so that's how you do the spark plugs on a BMW 328i if you got a four banger. If you got six bangers, you basically do the same thing, but you got two more. And there's like one in the back, that's like really hard to get to. But yeah, so now what we're gonna do is put everything back up like we took it off. That's it. We changed the spark plugs on my car already. It's still fucking hot as hell. I don't know if you can see the sweat on my face, but yeah, the car's back up. This is how it's supposed to look, and this is how it's looking. And now we're gonna just go and wash the car and end the video with that. Make sure to subscribe, like, because uh, we're gonna be doing uh, making some more videos. Because, like, I told you guys I was gonna sell this car, but I'm not selling it no more. I'm gonna build this car up. It's actually my daily, and it is gonna be my project car. But yeah, stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy the wash up.
Thank you.